all right you guys what's good my name is cutie and i'm here with another video you guys so y'all already know what it is i'm back with some more tea y'all we just gonna go ahead and get right into it so y'all know that tina turner is not even one week past the way you guys and we already have some clout chasing going on okay so you guys her ex-daughter-in-law reveals that tina thought that her son ronnie who unfortunately passed away you guys um before tina i believe it was in 2022 um, and he passed away from what I believe was some sort of cancer. But um, the ex-daughter-in-law, her name is, Alpha, I think it's like, I don't know how to pronounce it, Alpha, Alpha. I don't know how to pronounce it, girl, okay? But she says that Tina thought her son Ronnie would be just like his father, Ike, okay? So the daughter-in-law alleges that Tina told her, you don't want to stay with him. Um, and you know, my thing is this is okay. Tina ain't even been gone a week. Okay. You couldn't wait till they buried her. At least you couldn't wait till the queen was buried first sis, before you said what you said. Okay. It's just a certain amount of respect. I feel that's just my personal opinion. Um, you could have waited till they buried her sis. Okay. So Alf Alpha, the daughter-in-law, ex-daughter-in-law, you guys claims that, um, her late husband, you guys, did show signs of his father, Ike Turner, okay? So, child, you know, why didn't you just keep this to yourself, sis, okay? Um, this, this lady doesn't need this during her demise, okay? So, I feel that this was very tacky. I feel that it was very cheesy of the daughter-in-law. I feel like it was very unnecessary. I don't even know what the point was of her even just coming up here, even seeing all this on social media. I mean, sis, what you want us to do with that? All right, you married the man, and, you know, I, I don't get it. Then she had the nerve and the audacity to be like, yeah, I was just talking about you, how you love doing this, how you love doing that. Girl, you look like you was just saying stuff about Tina, that little bitty bits and pieces of things about Tina that you just didn't really know, but you learned about from the sun, girl, okay? How we know Tina even liked you, okay? No shade of tea, but girl, you look, you was up there with the girl. She had the uh the, the, the tatas all out. She was up there talking about Hugh Hefner and, the dang on what is it good i'm trying to think of what you uh the playboy bunny some girl was you a playboy bunny or some girl she had on some dog on playboy bunny outfit and was tagging the um playboy bunnies and the um i'll just go just all type of stuff because she looked like she worked in the adult entertainment and let me tell you something first of all make your money sis you know no high horses this way all right make your money any way you can everybody make their money they own way long as you making your corner money your business hey ain't nobody hating off that okay ain't nothing wrong with it, long as you mind your business but my thing is this i just felt like that was cheesy okay because if you had something to say you should have said it when tina was alive and well and tina could have defended herself okay why wait till the woman is not here no more to say what you got to say so i don't like that i didn't like that i thought it was very just disgusting okay if you ask me okay you could have been said that all right so anyway moving right along y'all i saw Lori harvey and her man um damson over there girl they was over there still going strong child they are over there child um on social media in london having them a good old time baby on their little vacation honey okay um but y'all let's go ahead i got some audio that i want to play uh play for y'all I really want to get into um, this Tyree situation because it's a lot that I really want to say about this. And y'all may not like this. Um, I mean no disrespect when I say this, but I am going to say my opinion of how I truly, truly feel about this. Um, and I mean no disrespect, but this is just what I think about the situation. Like I said, I'm going to play some audio um, in a few minutes, but I'm just going to say what I feel about, you know, the entire shindig of what's going on with Tyrese, okay? So anyway, you guys, Tyree says that he realized during his divorce trial that his relationship with his ex-wife was all about money. He says that it was never love, okay? He said that it was just a transaction, okay? Tyree said that he found this out during his divorce, you know? And my thing is, no, you didn't, Tyrese, okay? In my opinion, you knew what it was with sis from day one, okay? You just wanted to believe that fairy tale in your head like most men like you do, okay? No shade of tea, not trying to judge you. I said most me and not all men you just wanted to believe in that fairy tale okay now he said that she also married him for status okay and my thing is if that is true you also knew that deep down about that her about her as well you already knew that okay so why are you mad at her that's my thing no disrespect but she saw a sucker so she licked it okay does he deserve that 
Absolutely not. He does not deserve that. In fact, no one deserves that. But what did you expect from her? Okay. And I do feel for Tyrese because y'all know Tyrese just lost his beautiful mother not too long ago. Okay. All of us, excuse me, y'all. We just celebrated Mother's Day. And so I know that's hard for Tyrese. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he doesn't he doesn't necessarily need things like this going on right now. But you know. Tyrese at one point in time did attract, uh, I mean, not attract, excuse me, attack the black community, mainly the, you know, certain black girls, okay, because when we tried to tell you, okay, you said that she was your black queen and da 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 whoop da whoop, all right, and you said that, you know, this is your woman and this and that, and mind you, wasn't nobody trying to disrespect your wife, nothing wrong with you taking up for your wife, but everybody was trying to tell you because sometimes love is blind, like people say, you know, you can't really just tell and see what everybody else is seeing because because you love a person okay now it's like her and her new man over there spending your coin okay and that sucks but you know we all have learned hard lessons in life at a time you know at one time or two okay so i hope that this one will be you know your last hard lesson that you have to learn okay um you know, like I said before, sometimes we'll look at a person, we're like, oh, I love this person. This person is so beautiful, this, that, and the third, but it's not a lot of Vanessa, um, Bryant's in the world. Okay. I'm just going to be quite honest. It's a lot of men that are Kodak black looking and they expect Vanessa Bryant's. Okay. I'm just being honest. I'm not trying to be petty. Looks are not what people should be looking for, but let's just be real. I'm not, I'm not going to be fake with nothing. I'm going to just tell it like it is. It's a lot of celebrity men out here that are not lookers and they sit up here and they get these women that are exotic, beautiful women. And these women do not, are not physically attracted to them. And they want these women to be physically attracted to them, but in their mind and in the back of their heads, they know that these women are not physically attracted to them. They know that these women want that money. And in their mind, they're listening to these women finesse them and say, hey, I love you. It's not about the money. Da, 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 da. You're this, you're that. Okay, that's fine. But don't be upset when these women end up doing what they do. Just like that other man that that woman ended up killing him, um, you know, when, you know, she ended up doing what she did to him. And he was up there talking about, oh, I can't stand black women and da, 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 whoop, the whoop. And, you know, this, that, and the third. Okay, cool. That was his personal preference. I mean, I'm not trying to judge him on what he likes and what he don't like. That's, you know, I'm not cool with the racist card anyway. But, you know, just for it to turn around and years later, this woman is the one that took his very own life. So, you know, you really have to be mindful and you have to be careful because just because somebody say they love you, that does not mean that's their true intentions for you. OK, it does not mean that. So at the end of the day, you really have to be careful. Everyone is equal and everyone is welcome to um, um, love who they want to love. It, a racist should not be a factor when you're choosing someone to love. Race, love has no color. OK, but at the end of the day, in some situations, you have to be very mindful, especially celebrity men. OK, you do um, the Kodak blacks and stuff. Y'all got to be mindful because a lot of these women, let's just be honest, they're not attracted to you physically. And I guess to a lot of these men, it's OK. So I feel for Tyrese. OK, but we're going to go ahead and listen to this footage, you guys, because Tyrese did feel the ways. And like I said before, I wish that this did not happen to Tyrese um, because Tyrese seems like he's a good guy. He does seem like he's going through a lot. I know he was coming on social media, crying about a few things. And people did make fun of Tyrese. And I didn't like that because I felt like I was glad that Tyrese did come out and cry because I bet after he had that cry, that man felt better. So I like that Tyrese did that. And then Young Jock did it. So I feel like it's okay. You know, I me personally, I feel like even when a woman or a man or anybody cries on social media, I do kind of feel like it's kind of different, but I'm not going to judge anybody because you never know. Maybe some people just don't have anybody in their corner. So they come to social media, you know, I don't know. But me personally, I wouldn't be the type of person to just be on camera with it i mean you know you never know sometimes people are comfortable with social media to where they want to show their face and stuff and that's okay sorry y'all my medication got me on in my bed that's one of the side effects my bad but you know what i'm saying that it that's just what it is y'all so i mean i don't know but we're gonna get into this audio okay so let's go ahead and go during my divorce trial and I realized that it was never love, it was just a transaction. Wow, so we did a whole marriage and did the whole duration of a child and starting a family just to find out that it was all about money. 
status transaction. That is the most painful shit you could ever imagine. That is the most painful. It's something that most of y'all will never be able to understand or relate to. Imagine me being the only actor in a relationship to then realize that I was in a relationship for five years with one of the best actors I've ever met in my whole life. I left the courtroom during my divorce trial and I realized that it was never so I do like feel for him. Like I, I feel for him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's really messed up that he was done like that. Y'all for real. I feel for that man because he does not deserve that. Nobody deserved it. You know what I'm saying? But I really do feel for Tyrese because it seemed like Tyrese has been going through a lot. And I pray that Tyrese does, you know what I'm saying? Get a break um within his life, especially emotionally, uh, emotionally, excuse me, because Tyrese been going through it y'all. Okay. Um, but like I said, y'all, you know, sometimes, unfortunately, things like that do happen. You know what I'm saying? And we just have to be mindful. You know, when you're a celebrity or even just anybody with a good amount of money, people just do that, especially in this time and age. You know, you got to be mindful of what people want. You know, um, you have situations where people talk to you and they're like, oh, you're like, oh, this person is cool. And, you know, da, da, da. Then you talk to them and they're like, oh, so, yeah, can you uh, do this? Or, yeah, you got this, da, da, da. So what's, uh, yeah. And then you're like, nah, nah, you, 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 you cloud chasing. So, um, and then, like I said, it's happening a lot. Look at Regina. It ain't even just me and look at Regina. You know what I'm saying? Regina, she, she, another one that fell victim to it. I feel like even with Regina, it's hard for her to date because she's dating rappers and stuff. And a lot of these rappers, I feel like they be dating Regina or they be targeting Regina really be trying to get next to her father. You know what I'm saying? And Regina is just a, 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 you know, a piece of meat to them. You know what I'm saying? And she don't deserve that. So a lot of people, male and female go through things like this, you know? So more power to these people and i pray that you know um these type of things um can you know more so come out and i i like when people tell their story about these type of things because this stuff need to stop people need to be put on blast about this you know what i'm saying so much more love and respect to Tyrese. Sorry you went through that, Tyrese, and I hope that, you know what I'm saying, you don't have to go through that again, okay? So moving along, you guys, T.I. and Tiny, you guys. Unfortunately, you guys, they have lost their case in the OMG doll likeness trial, you guys, okay? Um, so, y'all, I guess the company is clapping back, y'all. They got their petty boots on, girl, because they are seeking now millions in attorney's fees, okay? So, they said, allegedly, that the dolls look nothing like the OMG dolls, okay? And the company also stated that a lot of their time, unfortunately, along with their employees' time, has been wasted, you know? Um, so, child, I even heard through these celeb streets that the company uh owner even cried okay on the stand okay so honestly i don't know what to think at this point in time okay the dolls do kind of look like the girls and then they don't kind of look like the girls so child i don't really know about it you know i wish that all you know this situation is i'm first of all i'm glad it's over with okay because court is too much okay i can tell y'all that right now okay especially with these lawsuits they go long and they they take a while okay so <clears throat> situations like that with lawsuits they can be very very draining okay um so i do wish the folks well but yeah so ti and tiny you could tell when they was walking out the courtroom girl they did look kind of down they did look bummed they did look like they wasn't happy but ti was basically saying in a nutshell that either way they are still blessed and that won't break them and you know this and that so i do wish ti and tiny well you guys and um i'm looking forward to seeing what they have to put out and you know the blessings and abundance that they have coming to them you guys and i also wish their company well uh but like i said before y'all i don't know about the dolls some of the dolls you know like i said sometimes i guess baby if the sun shines just right maybe they look like the girls then sometimes they don't try i don't know okay but anyway you guys my name is cutie that's all for right now you guys make sure you like comment and subscribe keep your hearts pure and your souls divine and your girl will see you in the next one love y'all